Today I'd like to demonstrate how in the 1860s blue light was formulated. Blue light was a pyrotechnic composition used for nighttime signaling by both the Federal and the Confederate forces in America's Civil War. You start at the big box store where you go to the plumbing department and purchase a piece of one and a half inch outside diameter plastic tubing and a piece of PVC tubing which is cut to length and is just large enough to loosely admit the first piece of tubing. Then you take a piece of 76 pound basis weight construction paper 12 by 24 inches. You roll this around your former as tightly as you can get it and then you either tape it or paste it you now have a paper tube, much like this one, and this paper case is what's going to hold the pyrotechnic composition. This paper case now fits snugly in the mold, and we use strips of newspaper tamped down from the top to close off the bottom of the tube so that when we start putting the composition in, it won't come out the bottom. I put a strip of paper in and tamp it tightly. And keep doing that until I have about a one or one and a half inch thick layer of paper. Once that's done, I take a funnel and I pour my composition in by degrees, tamping it, repeatedly filling and tamping until I'm about two inches or so from the top. Now the composition, which makes up blue light, is a mixture of potassium nitrate, sulfur, Realgar, which is a mineral, an arsenic salt, and mealed, or very finely ground black powder. And they're mixed together in parts by weight of 14 parts for the potassium nitrate, 3.7 parts for sulfur, one part each for the Realgar and the mealed powder. Be careful when you're mixing and packing this because we are dealing with an arsenic salt which is poisonous. I use rubber gloves and a full face respirator when I'm doing that. Once you end up packing to about two inches from the top, you take a length of plain cannon fuse, cut it to length, and then I use more newspaper to pack around the fuse. You then fold over the paper case from the top and drive out your tube, and what you end up with is blue light. This is a typical round of blue light with the cannon fuse coming out the top. You can see it's been packed down at the top, packed down at the bottom, and taped. In my next part of the film, we're going to take this outside and show you what 1862 era blue light looks like.